We have all heard the phrase, sweet F.A., but many are unaware of its morbid origins. Saturday afternoon, 24th of August, 1867. Eight-year-old Fanny Adams and her five-year-old sister, Lizzie Adams, were out playing with their friend, eight-year-old Minnie Warner, in their village of Alton, Hampshire, UK. But only Lizzie and Minnie returned. The two young girls told their mothers a story that made their blood run cold. The three were playing when a man wearing a long black coat approached them. He offered the girls money. He would offer Minnie and Lizzie three half pennies to buy sweets, and offered Fanny a half penny if she walked with him. The girls took the money, but as they left to buy their sweets, they saw Fanny crying, and it was obvious she didn't want to go with the stranger. He then grabbed her and carried her off into a hop field. The two mothers were in an understandable state of panic and raced to the lane. There, they saw a man in a long black coat, just like the two young girls had described. He admitted to giving the girls money, but insisted Fanny left with the others. When the mothers discovered he was a respectable clerk for a local solicitors, the doubt left their mind, and they felt reassured by the calm man. The news of Fanny's disappearance soon spread across the town, and a search followed. But within just a few hours, the search was called off. Thomas Gates, a labourer who was on his way home from work, spotted something in a hop field as he passed. Fanny had been found, at least parts of her were. Around 7pm, Fanny's severed head was found atop a hop pole, slashed from mouth to ear. Her right ear had been ripped off and her eye sockets were hollow. The other parts of her small body were found scattered around surrounding hop fields. Her eyes were found floating in the river and a stone was found with hair and flesh stuck to it nearby. There was only one suspect. The police headed for the solicitor's office and questioned the man in the black coat, 29-year-old Frederick Baker. He was led through an angry mob back to the police station. The police found Baker had blood on his shirt, the bottom of his trousers were wet, and he was carrying two small knives, one of which had blood on. The police questioned witnesses and found he had been seen leaving the office twice that day, first in the middle of the afternoon and again later on in the day. His colleague, Maurice Biddle, told officers Baker had described the meeting with the mothers in the lane and said it would be awkward for me if the child was murdered. The police searched Baker's desk and found a diary. The latest entry read, 24th of August, Saturday, killed a young girl. It was fine and hot. Baker claimed he was drunk when he wrote the entry and he meant it to record the fact a child had been killed that day and described the weather, nothing more. In December, Baker stood trial, still protesting his innocence. The cause of death could not be determined due to the amount of injuries on her body. On her death certificate, her cause of death is listed as injuries inflicted by Frederick Baker, murderer. Lizzie and Minnie identified him as the man who took their friend and sister. The defense would focus on Baker's mental health. They claimed his father was abusive, his cousin had been in an asylum, and his sister had died of brain fever. Also adding Baker had previously attempted suicide after a failed love affair. It took the jury only 15 minutes to decide on a verdict. Guilty. On Christmas Eve, Frederick Baker was hung in front of 5,000 people. Before his death, Baker had written a letter to Fanny's parents asking for forgiveness. He assured them he hadn't assaulted her, but said he had become enraged at her crying. But it was done without pain or struggle. Fanny was buried in Alton Cemetery. The community pulled together to purchase her a headstone. So how did the murder of Fanny Adams produce the phrase Sweet F.A.? A few years after Baker's hanging, the Navy introduced small tins of meat as rations. The tins were so sparsely filled that the soldiers compared them to the small scattered remains of Sweet Fanny Adams. This is how the phrase Sweet F.A., which is meant to mean little or nothing, came about. So next time you use the phrase, spare a thought for the eight-year-old murdered sweet Fanny Adams and the brutality that was used to end her short life. <laughs>